In a world of cloud threats and cybersecurity challenges, Lacework is helping organizations protect their cloud environments and workloads through automated threat detection, compliance monitoring, and so much more. To talk more about this, I am joined by Andrew Casey, the CFO of Lacework. Andrew, welcome. Thanks, Trini. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Absolutely. So let's start by telling our viewers exactly what Lacework is and what it does. So Lacework is a big data platform. It ingests lots of information about your cloud security data, your systems, your interactions, your workloads, and it tries to correlate all that information to expose the threats that an environment would have that are both known and unknown. We, what we're doing for a lot of our customers, we're telling them, look, you can, you can consolidate lots of the different tools and, and, and alerts that you have and information that you have in your environment down on our platform, and we can provide you with a much more operationally efficient Op uh, security operation, because you don't have to focus on the thousand alerts that are out there, you have to focus on the ones that really matter. Mm -hmm. And as the CFO, how does your financial leadership contribute to the company's growth and profitability? So one of the things that uh, I pride myself on is I'm, I'm a very operational CFO. I'm not just the one who does the accounting and the reporting, I also get very involved with our customers, with our sales teams, and really with the strategy of, of where we're planning for the company. And so I partner very closely with our CEO, Jay Parikh, mm -hmm. and we work to try and build out first the strategic objectives we have for the company and what are our growth objectives, what product areas we're moving into. And I'm, I'm the one person in the room often who can provide that unbiased opinion on what we should be doing from a financial perspective. Mm -hmm. Now, I have my technical competence as well, so as we start to put those things together, then I put the, the financial reporting mechanisms in place so we can always track how well we're doing against our expectations. Mm -hmm. And put a performance management uh, uh, framework in place as well. So for things like sales, where we know we have certain objectives to hit over a period of time, we're tracking continuously whether we're making progress on that front. And how are you navigating through the current economic climate? So it's, it is difficult. I would say that there's a lot, of, a lot of enterprises today that are really questioning how they can do more with less. And frankly, that's the one thing I can tell them that Lacework can do. If we, we often go into a customer's environment and say, tell us about all the, the tools that you have. Tell us about all the alerts and processes you have. And let's see how we can save you both on your licensing costs, on your oper operational costs, and really drive an environment where you believe and feel you are more secure. And that's, that's the, the one thing I told our sales team at uh, our sales kickoff was, this is the one time I think you can actually go to our, our customers and say, we can provide you a cheaper, better, faster, more efficient way of, of administering cloud security and it'll cost you less. Yeah. So if they're looking for ways to actually so save money in their operations, Lacework can actually do that by helping them consolidate uh, their tools and operations. And what sort of strategies or initiatives have you implemented to really optimize Lacework's performance? So a couple things. Uh, when I first joined, Lacework was not a classic enterprise um, selling model. And so we had to re-architect our, our, our sales focus around specific accounts and specific territories. It gets back to, you want to sell the customers who really have the biggest problems you want to solve. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones who are most likely going to be interested in, in what you can provide them. So making sure that we weren't trying to go after everything, we were being a little bit more focused on the customers that really need us and want us at this stage of their of their cloud journey. The second was putting in place things like a whole new pricing strategy that customers really enjoyed and they understood. A lot of times what you find, and this is my third time, if you will, with a, a smaller company going to a larger company, yeah. what happens is that a pricing strategy usually starts with uh, a company trying to monetize every new thing that they're developing. But that becomes very inefficient for, for enterprises. What they want is they want a pricing structure that gives them cost predictability. So they understand as they buy more, as they use more, mm -hmm. they know exactly what they can expect from their, their partner around yeah. what, they're, what they're going to be charged. So we had to re-architect our, our sales, um, go to market, our pricing. We had to re-architect some of our, our core processes. And frankly, I had to get the company aligned mm -hmm. to the same financial metrics. You're going to see us become one of the dominant players in the space because we provide that one comprehensive platform, one comprehensive data structure that a lot of those enterprises are going to need, especially if they want to become more operationally efficient. And we welcome you back here to talk about it anytime. Thank you very much, <laughs> Trinity. I really appreciate the time. Thank you, Andrew.